Guys, let's talk about two big SMMA secrets that a lot of these SMMA gurus online don't want to really talk about. But first, you got to understand something real quick. Take a look at this. That right there is a giant tower filled with multi-million dollar apartments. And let me come closer to the camera. So this is not a real estate video, but you know, the reason I want to show you guys that is because as someone who has not grown up around wealth, <laughs> as someone who does not has not grown up around wealth, I mean, that shit is just crazy. Let's get into the video, okay. So these are the two big secrets that I found out a lot of gurus are pretty much taking advantage, not taking advantage of, but they, they do it themselves yet. They don't really tell anyone about it. And the reason I want to share it is because I've been in the SMMA game for a long time now. I struggled and failed for many, many years trying out different services, different niches, etc., etc. Once I started to actually use my brain instead of blindly following what all the gurus are teaching on YouTube, that's when I went from two to 3K a month consistently and struggling like that to finally hitting 10K a month within 90 days, which is honestly still a pretty long time when you think of other people's success and you compare it to other people, but it does feel good to finally be there. Right now we're on the road to 20K a month with the business, so subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will literally share everything that I know. I feel like there's no point in hoarding the information. I'm not sure why people try and do that because there's plenty of clients for everyone. Everyone can get a small pie, small piece of the pie. It's a big pie. So if everyone has a small piece, everyone will be satisfied. So you got all these gurus online telling you like, send as much outreach as you can all the time and you'll eventually get a client. And I mean, they're not wrong. If you send a big enough volume of outreach, obviously you will get a client eventually, but they're adding something to their outreach that they don't really talk to you about or they don't really share publicly for some reason. And that is, number one of this video that's the number one secret okay content creation content. okay so a lot of these gurus are doing outreach all the time but what they're also doing is creating content if not attaching content to their outreach so that way when they're doing this outreach instead of just being a random email or random profile picture with the name they can oh brother just... okay thank god we're in the city you never know what you're gonna step on so that way instead of just having a name their prospects and the people who open the email or people who open the DM or whatever, they can go in and they can see what this person is about. I mean, attaching like a small video, video sales letter kind of commonly known as, or any sort of informational video, it builds that trust and it builds that authenticity because with SMMA being quote unquote saturated, you have to kind of go above and beyond and show them that you're a real human being and not just like every other SMMA that, oh my God, look at this truck. I guess my see real quick. You guys pause it for now, I guess. Now, could you do it without? That just looks stupid. All right, but could they do it without making content or without like a personal brand or anything? Absolutely they can, right? But come on, there's no doubt that like warming up your clients or warming up your prospective clients to knowing who you are and showing them your personality through a video and everything, there's no doubt that that's going to help a lot throughout the sales process. And let me give you a quick example, right? Let's say you help podcast. First of all, this iced tea, bruh, this was almost $6 for this iced tea. Let's see if it was worth it. Okay, it's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Is it $6? $6. What the? What is that? It's green tea. It's green tea? Yes. It tastes like wasabi. That's racist. <laughs> it tastes like soy sauce. You're just digging yourself in a deeper hole, man. What does it taste like next? Kung Fu? All right, so yeah, let's say your SMMA helps grow a podcast, right? Now let's introduce uh, a competitor that you have named Thomas, okay? So you and Thomas, you guys have the same exact service, same exact SMMA, you guys both help someone over here doing uh, public poetry right now. A lot of people out here do public poetry. That's a beautiful thing about San Francisco. You'll see people and they'll be kind of dancing and you know, I mean, are they on substances? Yeah, absolutely. But you know, I, I think to each their own, right? Let's say that uh, you and Thomas both have the same social media marketing agency. You guys both help podcasts. We can cross street here, dude. Um, except the only difference is Thomas has like a personal brand with a small following. He's got a couple videos up, you know what I'm saying? Where he like talks about how he much he helps podcasts and all this, right? So that way when he's sending the outreach, what he can do is he can send the outreach, send the offer and everything like that. Except what he can also add on top of that is mention, hey, click on this link and then you'll be able to see all the videos that I've made about podcasts. I pretty much obsess over podcast growth. It's what I do every day, day and night. I think about this, blah, 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 right? And then the prospective client will can click on that link and they can see, okay, this dude knows what he's talking about. Whereas you are just a name and a profile picture on the client's DMs or email. 
I mean, come on, it's common sense, right? Thomas is obviously gonna have a way easier time working with that client than you will. So that's just, you know, one example right there. Content. content, make sure you don't have to have like a whole entire library of content or start making YouTube videos all the time. But let's say you're doing Instagram DMs, right? Have like, you know, 12 pieces of content up, like short form content where you go and you talk about exactly how you're gonna help your clients. Like some, if you don't have any results, then just talk about the process that you're gonna be doing. Uh, if you do have results already, your case studies, then obviously you want to talk about that too. By the way, this is a new microphone that I just got upgraded to some equipment. You know, now that your boy is a, is a 10K a month SMMA owner, you know, so I got splurged a little bit. I got splurged a little bit. Anyways, that's why I got the six dollar coffee too, because now, you know, six dollar coffees are, are uh, penny chains to a person like me. Just kidding, I'm actually crying inside. But let's see if this, let's see how this works. God, dude. Oh, my bad, my bad. Arun can hear, he's got headphones on actually. What do you do if you're a complete beginner or if you're camera shy, right? Well, kind of like what I said earlier, what you can do is instead of having to showcase your case studies, all you have to do is create like a mini slideshow kind of presentation portfolio type thing. Make sure it's not any longer than three minutes though. You don't want to bore your clients to death or the prospective clients at least. Download a software called Loom, okay? Loom.com, go visit it and download it. And what you can do with Loom is it's a program where basically it'll show your face on the on your screen. So it'll record the webcam as well as your computer screen. And you just want to like be like, hey, X, Y and Z, I think, you know, would be a good fit or whatever, uh, because I help podcasts grow. And this is what I'm going to do for you. Here's the system that I have. I think you're really going to like this. I really like your podcast because of X, Y, Z. Make sure you're personalized. You don't want to send the same exact thing to everyone because otherwise it's just going to be like a copy paste video. And you know, they're gonna be able to tell that, hey man, this guy's just fucking spamming videos to everybody. But when it's a unique video to someone, there's a much higher chance of them watching it and being like, all right, you know what? This guy took the time to actually put all this effort into the video. So let me go ahead and, you know, get on a call with him, see what he's about. What do you do if you're camera shy though? Here's a good thing about Loom. Instead of having your webcam show your face in the corner, it'll just show a picture in the corner. Now, for the picture, make sure like the uh, lighting is even, make sure you look normal, I guess. By, by normal, I mean, make sure it doesn't look like a mugshot, okay? Because you don't want a, a mugshot or a camera angle from down here, you know what I'm saying? So it's like just showing like this of your face. Because I've seen people do outreach and, and they've sent me, they said like, hey, I need help with my outreach or whatever, can you help me out? By the way, I help people for free on Agency Go Discord, completely free, I'm gonna help you get to 10K a month. No forced upsells, no nothing like that. Free Discord, you should join if you're trying to get to 10K a month with your SMMA. So I've seen people do that and it's just like, yo, just take a normal photo, okay? If you don't have anyone to take the photo for you, you can take a selfie if you want, put it on like a stand if you can, and then have like the timer kind of, you know, do that. Make sure you're wearing something that's like, it doesn't have to be super professional. You don't have to be in a suit or a tuxedo or anything, but you do want to wear something clean. You don't want to be in like something that's super baggy or like a, you don't want to be in like a string tee. You know what I'm saying? A string freaking uh, thing that bodybuilders wear. You, know, you don't want to be shirtless or anything like that. It's kind of weird. Um, I guess unless you're reaching out to gyms maybe, or unless you're doing like only management agency, you know, maybe, maybe you do want to be shirtless. If you're a beginner, you can do that. If you're camera shy, you do the same exact process, except instead of using your webcam video, all you got to do is put your photo there and then do the same exact process. Just run them through, put some personalization, explain to them how you can help them and everything. And then at the end, tell them, I'd love to get on a call so we can discuss this further. Um, and yeah, bada bing bada boom. Okay, now to SMMA guru secret number two. All right, this one's not a secret, so you know, don't get mad at me for doing, saying this, but I, I just think it's really important to say is like, especially if you're a beginner, SMMA is not some kind of like little side hustle thing that you can do if you're a complete beginner, okay? It, it's a real business, and basically the secret here is it's hard. Like starting a business as a beginner is difficult, and I know it, duh, right? But when you watch all these SMMA videos, man, a lot of people make it seem so easy and so simple, but it is simple, that's the crazy thing, right? Because the business model is basically this. And I'm gonna sound like every single other kind of SMMA guru. This is what you hear from them, okay? This is what you hear, this is what they say. So, client gives you a thousand bucks, let's say, for your service, and then you hire someone in another country, you give them, let's say, 400 bucks to fulfill the service, and you pocket the 600 bucks a month. You get 10 clients like that, you're profiting 6K. That's a, you know, 10K a month revenue business, 6K profit business, okay? That's how they kind of pitch it, right? But look, first of all, when you're a beginner, unless you have like a natural talent of sales or natural talent of recruitment, or you're just an overall beast and everything, it's gonna be really difficult because your first step is like, how do you do lead generation? That's one thing you have to get good at. And then after that, it's like, how do you do sales? That's one thing you have to get at. I don't mean to say this to like intimidate anyone that's trying to pursue this business model. I still think it's probably one of the best opportunities and best business models and that you can actually pursue. 
because you don't need to you know put up any upfront capital you don't need to do any of like anything like that you can just straight up work your way up so that's why it's great especially if you're disciplined but that's like the first thing you need to make sure that you have Here, here's the thing too right so the technical things are pretty easy because uh, there's so many courses there's so many tutorials online so when it comes to let's say you're trying to do facebook ads uh, you can just join a facebook ads group or you can also just go on google or go on youtube and there's tons of videos on facebook ads etc and you can learn the technical step by step someone walking you through the system how to do it pushing every button for you right same thing with outreach or anything like that if you're having trouble with your outreach having trouble finding leads you just search it up on youtube search it up on google you'll find ways to do it you'll find the technical step-by-step -step places or step-by-step -step systems rather now where it actually becomes difficult though is the soft skills okay so you have the hard skills which are like the technical skills that i just mentioned and then you have the soft skills okay so the soft skills are what i repeat a lot in my videos which is like having the discipline to actually go through do really boring work for a long periods of time and doing it consistently after you're failing a lot let's take a look at the yachts everybody look at all this beautiful sunny california ladies and gentlemen sunny california those are the soft skills, right? Just having the discipline to do the boring work pretty much is, is really, really difficult. If like you can watch all these tutorials online, you can listen to people, you can read, you know, philosophical books or whatever. But when it comes to actually implementing it, unless you have a natural tendency to already be pretty disciplined, it's something that you're going to have to really work at and figure out how to kind of maintain that to, to do the boring work because it's all boring work. I mean, how I see it is this, though. Let's let's be honest here. Right. For most of us who don't have a, a career path that we're naturally passionate about, like, for example, when I was you know going through school and everything, there was no like set career path that I was super, super passionate about, uh, except marketing and videos. I've kind of always been into that stuff, which is why it worked out for me. If you don't fall into that category, then either way, you're going to be ending ending up doing something boring. So it's like you can kind of choose, you know, what do you want to do? You want to do something boring and not have the potential to kind of, you know, grow your own thing or have ownership of your own thing, which if that's you, then you're probably not going to watch this video. So it doesn't even matter. Or you can do the boring part of actually growing the SMMA and kind of pursuing that and having a shot at, um, you know, maybe one day owning all these, one of these yachts or something. By knowing that it's boring work though, you know, you can kind of ignore all the people who are saying like, you know, you only work one hour a day, you make $40,000 a month. And then, I mean, the crazy thing is it is possible. And you know, all the gurus are talking about that, but it takes a long time for you to actually get to that point. But damn man, young Akash, I ate that up like a, like a young Akash at a Chinese buffet. You know what I'm saying? That was very attractive. They're really good messaging. So that's, that's the thing that really gets to everybody in their target demographic. They're marketers at the end of the day, you know, so they're really good at what they do, obviously. So in the midst of doing all this boring work though, when you're doing outreach, when you're tweaking your messages, when you keep failing consistently, consistently, and then you see all these gurus also talk about, I got to 10K a month in 30 days with my SMMA, all this kind of stuff. It can feel really frustrating and really discouraging. But as someone who's, you know, finally started getting some traction with my SMMA, I almost just, I almost tripped, dude. I almost caught rag. I don't know if anyone knows that lingo. Yeah, someone who's finally starting to get some traction with the SMMA, I figured out that it really boils down to three things. Every sip is 75 cents. Number one is having the self-discipline to stick through, stay focused, and do the boring work a lot. High volume of boring work. Number two is being self-aware enough to understand your strengths and weaknesses because that's how you're going to kind of grow your team. You want to fill in all the weaknesses that you have and then you want to take in charge of all the strengths that you have. And don't say that you don't have any strengths, you don't have any weaknesses or you're weak at everything. Trust me, there's something there that you are better than uh, most people at. You just got to keep trying a bunch of things and eventually you'll figure out that, oh wow, everyone else sucks at this, but I'm pretty good. Number three is creative problem solving. You know, you're gonna run into some issues, but the good thing is, like I said, there are a bunch of support groups for SMMA. Wow, well, it sounds like it's like some, it sounds like some rehab thing or like an alcohol anonymous thing. Mm -hmm. No, what I mean to say is there's a lot of groups online where people are really happy to help. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are making, are, are pretty successful when they see young people who are, or it doesn't have to be a young person, but when someone's new and pursuing this business model, they want to help because they were in your shoes at one point. Once I realized this and I was dedicating pretty much all my time to becoming more disciplined and getting used to the boring work and figuring out how I can, you know, stay consistent, then that's when business started really booming. Uh, Metro booming. Metro! So if you're starting or growing your SMA, 
You want to learn the hard skills, you want to learn the technical skills, but you want to double down on the soft skills. And if you need help, join Agency Go free Discord. I'm helping as many people as I can get to 10K a month for free. There's no scammy upsells, no nothing like that. If you're wondering selfishly, like, well, why would you want to help people for free? Well, if I can help you get to 10K a month, then maybe I'll have a service by then where I can develop one where you can be a client of mine. But in order for me to do that, I first got to help you guys get to 10K a month, right? If you're a beginner. I'll see you guys in the next video.